Hello, quick intervention before the video starts. I hosted a CSGO game between my two friend groups, my high school friends and my college friends, who have recently been merging together into one big friend group, which warms my heart, but I also get to force them to compete against each other, which is even better. So a special thanks to all my friends who participated in this game. I'm gonna do a quick, I'm sorry about my terrible commentary skills, but I hope you enjoy the game nonetheless. I had a ton of fun recording it, and I hope my friends also had fun. So, without further ado, let's get into the game. So, the Tanks boys are starting on T side. They're really cracking open this A site. Oh, Andrew shuts down Clay there, who was hoping for some last attempts. You're gonna have to excuse me if um, my commentating skills are a bit lackluster. Well, turns out they want me to have this giant menu in my face the entire time. Oh, Dre really able to control that spray, get two and hurt Bigby for 90 damage. Michael though, bringing it way back. This is actually pretty scary. Then again, Bigby's left with a Galil in the back of B site with just 10 HP to his name. If he gets proper 1v1s, I think he does stand a chance because Bizarre Clay's at 14 and Dre's at 50. However, they do have the numbers advantage and the weapons advantage. And seemingly no utility left for anybody. Bigby does get Dre down. And uh, he may have spotted him there. Clay is able to finish the fight. Bigby with 10 HP, Clay with 14 HP. Oh, we have Bizarre Clay pushed up. He secures an easy kill. He's going to try to grab that AK. He does. No one else is there to secure. Gonna see. Ooh. Got timing there a little bit with Skrilling in the back lines. Clay's going to continue pushing with this. He knows he has to make a play with this AK. Bigby, though, right there. Oh, another great kill. Almost securing a third one, but putting Psycho Andrew down to 17 HP. We have Sykes here lurking in the background. Trey with a beautiful headshot to finish off Psycho Andrew. Now we're down to a 3v2. And Sykes is the only one with just body armor on their team. They all have secured weapons though. Michael though, picking up a clean kill onto Anik. Not taking any damage I don't think. Sykes has the pin on him. But without that armor he's not going to be able to secure it. And Michael cleans up. Three kills in the 3v2 to secure another round for tanks. Like, it looks like they're about to start executing, and with Sykes on 8 HP, it's not looking pretty. That Molly's gonna keep Dre back. Sykes not able to secure a kill. Andre has to back off. He doesn't have enough HP to take in any of these fights. Ooh, that's a good kill. Chris able to secure a kill. Clay able to pick off Miles, probably hiding back in Nubok. The Molly coming right to Jigger where he's hiding, and three people survive. That is actually really massive for the CT side economy. Let's see what they're gonna do. It looks like they are leaning towards a fast A execute. Now, because I play with both of these friend groups, I do know their play styles, and it does seem like they are being a bit more reserved. Ooh, Michael coming with a nice smoke. Let's see where that lands. Okay. So now if they go lane side, they don't have to worry about that op holding from library, which is what they're going to do. We got to hope that Chris can secure a couple kills. Double spray down from Donut and Chris. Donut and Annex, I apologize. They do get a bomb plant down, which is pretty massive, and they clean up the kills, and that's another round. Annex going for a fast abs push. He might meet some resistance here. He could get timing if, uh... Oh, here they come. Are they gonna check this? Are they gonna check this? Oh, they're not gonna check that. But now they know he's up here. Michael knows he's there, secures the kill. We're down to a 2v3. Sykes aware that he's going to be flanking, shooting his toes and he's able to secure it. 
And he is going to pick up the AK. <laughs> now with my friends, you never know what weaponry they're going to choose. So I would not be surprised if the P90 stayed in play. But Sykes, a very decent rifler. Very competent. So he's going to choose the AK. Very smart of him. It is what I would recommend. So thank you Sykes for uh, playing smart. Here they are, running those silver strats as we propose. Oh no, those grenades are lethal! Bigby going down, Psycho Andrew down to just 27 HP. It seems that uh, the dungeon was ve very well aware that they run these silver strats and that they were going to keep doing it throughout this game. Psycho Andrew just 27 HP. Donut watching the cross. Oh, shoots him through the smoke. That's actually an insane. He's still doing damage to Sully. Definitely should not go for this with 10 seconds left on the clock. He's going to be saving that AK and the CTs are going to be hunting. He's going to... Ooh, he just barely misses the timing. So he just rounds that corner. And that might save them the AK. However, here comes Clay. Not able to secure the kill and they save the op. That is quite a save from Soli. That's Psycho Andrew lurking on the other side. Oh, through the x-ray we can see that it's so close. And you, we kind of just wish that he would pull the trigger. But the smoke's going to dissipate soon. Oh, he leaves. He does not want to take the fight. Psycho Andrew about to come. No, Dre's going to peek first. He gets, secures the first kill. Is he going to expect Clay? Oh, hits a headshot with the op. This time, though, they're not going to be able to save an op. Just an AK, so it seems they might have enough money next round to squeeze something together and yes they will as long as he saves this gun Ooh, no any oh this is i do not like this eye from the tanks crew oh Sully goes down by donuts he grenade if you notice there clay was able to tag uh i'm emo oh it's this isn't looking pretty at all they just, they are reading him like a book. Skrillian pushing through. He's able to secure one kill at least, but at this point with the economy just growing and growing on the CT side, that one kill really does not hurt them. Goes back to a 7-4. Very great half. Bizarre Clay once again getting a great opening pick. He is not afraid to peek mid and they are just not doing anything to go against this. Annex over there. Securing another kill. He gets flanked. It seems like Soli's just going to try to push out, but Bizarre Clay expects it. He's right there. And he stops, and I think he probably noticed that that bomb site was there. They have no mid presence, I don't believe. Oh, they do have mid presence. It's the T sides that's not able to get through to secure a kill. Sykes coming up from behind is able to kill Skrillian. Bigby, a great spray through. Dre blinding himself. Donut picking up another kill. Alright, we are going live again as I open up another Jello. Because as you saw in the chat, it was a tactical snack break. So I had to get one for myself. I like this play, however they aren't able to, they don't know how to properly boost. Who's going up there? Donut4TK is hopping up there. Oh, but tanks are already, already pushing in on the site. Sykes, switching to his pistol, able to secure another kill. I don't, he's not going to be able to get another one. 3v3 with a plant coming in. Once these smokes dissipate, if, if they don't have any left, this op might be able to just tear through them. Right now, they're all stuck behind. Donut4TK looks as if he's going to go through church. No one watching it. I'm Emo watching it from Newbox, Psycho Andrew in Dark, and one Banana. They're really running out of time here. They're going to have to keep going. Donut4TK spotting him. There's just almost no time left. They didn't... They really... They really took their time there, waiting for all the smokes to dissipate, waiting for nades to push out, but I think even if they secured all the kills, it was going to be very iffy on whether or not they could get that defuse. However, even with their entire team dying to that round, they still have a full buy, full utility, 
Donut, interestingly, not buying a fourth grenade. Unsure what that's about. Maybe uh, maybe he's got something secret up his plane. Maybe he's got some heroic play where he doesn't. He only needs three. Sykes going down. I'm emo. Getting a great pick. Sykes overextending a little bit. No utility to f follow him in solely. Pushing through a smoke. Picking up a kill. Grabbing Clay's op. Is Chris going to be aware that this op could just rip through him? Oh, they're going to wrap onto B site. I actually do like this play because I don't think the dungeon is going to expect this. I think they're not aware of this whatsoever. Molly coming in, pushing him out of the dark, but the other players are already there. Donut securing the kill. Oh, great kill by Dre. Picking up another one. Oh, he's got to be aware that he's got an op. He has. He should just hide here and wait for Chris to come around. Try to play mind games and just wait, wait, wait. A great hold by Dre G. Tanks, however, coming in with a pretty strong buy. We see Skrilly in there with a scout. It's one of his, uh, he, he likes to purchase this, but I would not say it's its best. Oh, but, oh, I correct myself. Oh my god. Getting that headshot on Clay, who is an extremely proficient opera, is massive. It's huge, and he gets to upgrade to an op. They're going to execute onto a side here. There's nobody left from dungeon. They have to rotate quickly from B. You can see them rotating. It's Chris all alone on the site. He has to secure at least one more kill here to make it even. And he does. 3v3 going into this round. Sykes is just going to push out. He has no fear. Donut able to secure a kill. They do get the bomb plant down. Donut 4TK with another kill. Skrillian's all alone now in a 1v3. From a great opening, he's able to secure a kill, but the dungeon securing 10-5. Clay, Andre, Chris, they're all turning up. He literally just jumped off the balcony. I'm not even joking. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, hi. I apologize. It seems that uh, it seems that my cat jumped off uh, my balcony, so my roommate uh, threw him back into my room. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Let's go into the next half where we have the dungeon up 10-5, just running through to B side, taking a lot of damage to start. One player new box and one player church. Able to secure both kills, but they are tagged up fairly heavily. Dre with a beautiful shot. Let's look at Annex, who's holding Church. I'm Emo there with just 11 HP. Ooh, a great reversal on uh, I'm Emo there. Despite having 11 HP, still a nice kill. Sully gonna have to make a big play here, but he can't. There's just too many angles and too many opponents left. See what we're working with here. Sully lurking in CT apps with an MP9. He is very well known for just pushing through this mid, trying to get them off balance. A lot of smoke and a flash coming through that mid smoke. Is Annex going to realize to check the smoke when it disappears? Doesn't matter. Sully repositions himself very smartly. Annex still there, a great nade. I don't know if he's expecting him to hide in Boiler, but that's exactly where it lands, and Sully's down to 50 HP on that MP9. Very dangerous. Dungeon already pushed up quite a bit top banana. However, Bigby probably heard Donut making all these footsteps, so they're going to know there's at least some presence here. I'm Emo, though, boosted up. Onto flower pot. Oh, if Clay peeked there, that would have been a great timing. Dungeon, though, repositions themselves. They are going to come to B site. Are they going to check for I'm Emo, who's pushed up there? No, they're not. He gets traded off. Big B in church, though. Gabs another. Oh, Big B gets three in the round to hold the site. Oh. <laughs> we see uh, Skrillian here. Famous for his Negev purchase. 
Um, he really likes to let it bang. <laughs> I don't think it's always the best choice, but on CT side, if you can start spraying through a smoke, then really anything is possible. It's doubt he's not going to do that. It's just his play style. It's his thing. He peeks. He's not going to see anyone, but soon they're going to hear a lot of people alt mid. Here they go. That molly, beautiful, stops the push, allows him and Sully to get out of the mix. Oh, that nade is going to be massive. Picks up a kill, solely able to finish off two more enemies. And now Dona and Dre are just left. Sully continue to push. This man has no fear when it comes to pushing with an MP9. Grabs an AK, don't a 40k, no chance in this round. 1v5 for the Glock. Psycho Andrew gaining a great pick straight off the bat. There is... Oh my god. Where was that? I... <laughs> Bizarre Clay hitting a nutty headshot from Bridge to kill Sully who was pushed up in Balcony. Very dangerous on that Deagle. And now Dre has secured the AK. <laughs> Waving him off. Doesn't want him to go here. Maybe Bizarre Clay just believes in this Deagle enough. Psycho Andrew. Doesn't seem like he's going to take that fight. He doesn't want to go into this Deagle if he doesn't have to. He wants the Deagle to come to him. But we look on the other side of the map, and they are executing onto B-side. No smokes, no nothing. Amiibo and Biggie are going to be able to clean this up easy peasy. The best that Bizarre Clay can hope for here is to pick up one or two kills with this Deagle, and that would put a dent in their economy. You just got to push through this. Almost able to secure another kill, but unfortunately, I'm Emo was ready for that and puts him down. Some damage coming out. These There's two players already out on B, Annex and Bizarre. I'm Emo holding back church. He's going to get smoked off. I don't think he's going to push through this. Maybe not ready for that push, however. I'm Emo is just stuck on the other side, and Clay's able to find Andrew. From CT. A great kill coming out from I Emo. That nade that smoke grenade didn't cover it entirely. Clay another great kill. And we see Skrillian on the op. Pulls out the play. Oh, we have a flank coming in from behind. Donut 4TK able to secure the kill that leaves just I'm Emo in church. A lot of HP and an AK, that headshot capability. I think they're just going to take the bomb and they're going to leave. Actually, I don't know anymore. They don't have enough time. If he secures these kills, he knows where the last person is. Don't have 4TK coming from church. He's just going to smoke himself off. He's saying, you have to come to me or you lose this round. And he clutches this out. A 1v3 Disgusting. Dungeon did not play that correctly, and I'm Emo capitalizes off of that. We have Skrillian with a Negev hiding up on Balcony. He's really gonna have to let this thing shoot, otherwise, that's what's gonna happen. Sykes is just gonna push through and secure that kill. Soli's still around here. They have A site, but the bomb is all the way back in their spawn. I'm unsure how they let that happen. Soli securing a kill. Should be a follow-up from Sykes. He's going to pick up in AK, but now we're down to a 2v1. Them leaving the bomb all the way back in spawn was a massive mistake. Now we have to wonder where Sykes is going to go here. He knows that A site was just cleared, but with all the time he had to take securing the bomb, I'm not entirely sure he has to re-clear everything, and he's only got 30 seconds left. Smartly, Bigby and I'm Emo sticking together at the moment. It looks like I'm Emo's a bit anxious about going towards B site. Sykes able to come in, and he's going to be able to get a bomb plant. If they're going to take this, they're going to have to take it together. He chooses not to try to get a 1v1 scenario. Is he going to pick up the op here? Doesn't seem like it. Michael with a great smoke. 
This might give him chances. I'm emo. A great utilization of that smoke to block it off. A lot of nades coming down banana, but neither team choosing to garner control over it. Dungeon smartly not advancing through the smoke. Sully once again being very aggressive in those CT apps and Dungeon just not recognizing that that's his playstyle. A lot of nades coming in. Clay and Annex both pushed up on this B site. I think since they are down in numbers, they really need to recollect themselves and just hit one site together. Clay trying to get some information. Chris making a lot of noise. Bigby capitalizing off of that. Shoots him in the back. Annex left here on this site. Doesn't. There's four people here. They have to know that this is not the best play. At this point, I'm not entirely sure that they can even hit a site. We have Sully lurking under patio. He's going to be able to secure one or two more kills here. He secures two. Could easily get this next one. Annex with a great headshot. He might be able to get out onto site and secure a bomb point. But here comes Skrillian. Another great headshot. But here comes Psycho Andrew with a flank. He's gonna be able to get this kill. They need to give more respect to Soli, who continuously pushes CT their apps. As he will continue to do that as long as they give him the opportunity. Soli's gonna see a couple people, and once again, he's pushing down. So much grenade damage happening on the dungeon side. They're already out of this game. I'm Emo secures a Molotov kill on the clay. Sykes on 7 HP. The other people down almost below half. Bigby gets a nice headshot there. And this is just going to be a cleanup. Donut could just hope for another kill. However, their nade utility is going to go in. So we're going to see a rotate coming in from the tanks crew. Donut didn't see his arm there. Didn't see him back dark. Spraying through the smoke, hoping to grab somebody. I'm emo trapped in the back lines. This is a weird smoke, so that surely they know that he's there. Oh, great spray through the smoke. He doesn't even need to see them to secure these kills. No way, he gets a knife on Donut42k who can't secure the kills. And that's disappointing. I'm very curious who threw that smoke. It was probably I'm emo, at which point they should have known that he was back there and attempted to molly him out or nade him out. Tanks has just been running wild with this game, winning eight in a row, now uh, holding the lead at 13 to 12. Sully picking off Donut again, holding the CT apps. Psycho Andrew getting another kill in mid. They are just pushing and pushing and pushing. Doesn't seem like the T side has any Oh, that, that hurts. Sully's able to spray through the smoke and get Clay as he was trying to wrap around the site. Skrillian holding in pit here. That nade not going to do too much. Just a little bit. About 20 points of damage. Great crossfire, though, coming in from tanks. Oh, Miles going to be caught out with the smoke. Or uh, Molly, I apologize. Sully, they're not going to be able to capitalize. Dre just wasn't able to pick up that kill and focus their attention on the site positions. So let's take a look on the T side, see what they do. Sully just, this is a very messy buy coming in. They don't want to let tanks get on map point. They want to get things going in their way and they want to win this game. They don't want to go into overtime. Sully playing a lot more reserved this round. He's smoked off, but with proper nade utility, he's going to hold them back. A little gap in that smoke could be used by Bizarre Clay, but his inferior firepower, he really needs to get battles up close and personal. Psycho Andrew on art side. They have a great chance at a crossfire here, which could completely tear them apart. They're really spread out, really just trying to get a sense of where are the CTs. Where are they hiding and where is their weakness? It looks like they are going to be pushing in. Oh no, that smoke grenade is not good. That's going to be massive for Andrew. He's going to be able to clean up a couple kills here. Oh, he's able to get so many kills. That smoke grenade is 
detrimental to their push and they got the kill off of Soli in the very beginning. Annex not able to secure the kill and Tanks goes to match point. Uh, A-Sight. I Nemo just pushing up. The B, the B players are really keeping the T's on their toes and they're playing passive, they're playing aggressive. It's very difficult to read them and Dungeon's just sadly unable to, you know, secure any opening kills. It, they seem to be down one every single round prepared. This was the tank's map choice, so we did expect them to be a bit more dominant, but coming in on this, it's just a bit too difficult. Dre not able to get another kill. Sykes able to secure a kill 2v3, but there's still one more person left on the site. It's Skrillian hiding up in apps. Is Sykes Sykes isn't gonna be aware of this. He's gonna get he's gonna be taken down and is left on a 1v3. Donut 4TK. He can secure another kill, but he doesn't have bomb and only 35 seconds left. And here we are again. I'm Emo and Bigby once again going for a retake. Is I mean, Emo does have a smoke. Is he going to line it up again and get the bomb plant? It surely does. He was very excited for all the grenades that he learned. And let's follow this thing. Let's just show where it goes. Off the roof. Off the window pane. Landing. Cutting off the site. But Donut's back on the site. I mean, Emo versus Donut. Donut had a full health. But he's trapped in the corner. 19 elf coming in from I'm Emo. Donut able to clutch the round and secure the kill. Oh no, not the tea bag and the spray. Very dangerous as uh, his team is down 13 15. A lot of nades coming down. Annex already up there. He's already pushed way up. He's got no support coming in. Not able to secure the kill, Soli gets it, but he has to force himself off. Clay able to secure a kill, that Molly doing wonders on the enemy team. They're gonna get a bomb plant down here. Oh, Sykes almost landing a shot through there. Soli really needs to be careful. Is he gonna push through that smoke? He should not be trying to push through that smoke with 5 HP. And there it is, a Molly hits him. Sykes is gonna go down to that Molly. 3v3, Bizarre Clay, very low. Donut 40k. They go down, and that is gonna be game. Thank you for watching this video. I had a ton of fun putting this game together between my friends, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, as it really does help out. If you didn't make it this far, I don't know how you're watching this. Thank you again to all my wonderful friends for playing this game. Thank you again for watching this video, and I hope you're having a good one. Adioso.